there's not a lack of money or technology in this world, but maybe there's a lack of imagination how we want the future to look like. So I think that's the true power of art and design. It can imagine, it can visualize, it can materialize what is needed to go next level. I'm an artist and innovator, and we are here now in the Dream Factory. So we build landscapes of the future. I think what we're doing here is unique. We're all future curious, and all the projects that we've done are related to that. I want to do art, I want to do science, I want to be entrepreneur, I want to make things. So maybe it's not about sort of choosing or selecting, but it's more about finding the links between all these disciplines and trying to connect them. Spaceways Lab is a project which visualizes, fixes and upcycles the 8.1 million kilo of space junk which is currently floating around the universe. In Almere, we have the first phase of the Space Race Lab. And we're really excited to team up with that city and that museum. Also because they are hosting the World Expo Floriade in 2022. So they have a vision towards the future. So inside there's an exhibition of the Space Race Lab where we're showing a real piece of space waste. We show the history and the future of space waste. We do a lot of workshops with more than 2,000 students and high school kids. Like, okay, what can we do with it? And outside we have the Space Waste Lab performance where we're tracking space waste, 29,000 particles larger than 10 centimeters, and sort of scanning and, and showing and pointing them with these huge lines of light. So I think this connection between inside and outside is interesting. In the coming days we're launching phase two. We'll travel to Luxembourg, to Houston, NASA, and we're working towards Dubai 2020 to have the further uh, fixing more solutions and mesmerizing. We're on a mission for clean space. And so now we're presenting the next phase where with the space experts, we made a selection of what we're gonna realize. We had thousands of ideas being sent to us eh, by students, by experts from all around the world. One personal favorite of mine is the shooting stars where with a cube satellite and a mini satellite or with a net, we capture the existing space waste and we somehow attract it in a controlled way to the earth atmosphere. And so when it hits the earth atmosphere, of course, it burns. So can we create uh, artificial shooting stars as a replacement for the very, very polluting fireworks? That's the main idea that we're going to drag into reality. It's sort of a problem and a potential. It has something very poetic and also something very practical. I don't want to just make things beautiful. I also want to have things that are meaningful or trying to improve the world. It's sort of an attitude in which you say I'm not a passenger, but I'm crew. I'm part of this world and I'm not going to wait, I'm not going to complain, but I'm going to work in proposals. And I think if this kind of proactive attitude is more incorporated, how we deal with ourselves and society, that's the only way of making uh, progress. For Space Boys Lab, I'm handling all the public relations and it's super important for myself and for the office to bring out the message and to reach everyone. From children to experts, scientists, everyone at Studio Roosgaard, we really make things happen. I really love it. It's not only talking, but it's also a daring. For the Space Boys Lab, it's like a living laboratory where everyone can contribute. Isn't the universe big enough? So you can wonder, isn't space very big? Why should we care? Like these little pieces and it's endless. I think we have a right for a clean space. It's also the new space where we can try to learn from the mistakes that we made on Earth and implement them in a sort of slightly improved way. So it's space to learn, space to experiment, space to make a mistake and space for yeah, hopefully a sort of better version of humanity. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.